All right, so we got a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. Uh, Customer is complaining of uh, ticking noise. So went ahead and looked at the manifold bolts and this back corner bolt, I believe it was this, this upper one was fractured. Uh, sort of a common issue with these uh, manifold bolts. And, um, and it has a ticking sound? Yeah, yeah. You get a, a hemi tick, you tell it. So we got uh, the manifold off now. Uh, we're just gonna clean it up and I'm gonna put a straight edge on it and see exactly how flat it is. Chances are it's warped. And that was the cause of why uh, the manifold bolts failed. There's a total, I guess, of three bolts that would end up fracturing. Well, what, why do these look like that? Um, so in order to extract these bolts from the head, uh, usually we just uh, go ahead and weld a nut onto the bolt, and that gives us uh, something to put a socket on in order to get those out. Uh, other people drill them. This is our preferred method. And then... Uh, Quick and easy. That's a good stud. Yep. And then... Uh, there's two, two styles of bolts, um, so there's four for the corners, and these uh, act as a dual purpose bolt. One to hold on the manifold, they, uh, and the outer portion of this, uh, this bolt here holds the heat shield on. And then you'll find uh, these are towards the inner portion of the manifold, or the center. And what, show a snap one? Is that a snap one? Um, yeah, we got a broken one so here. So is that the reason why it ticks in the first place? Yeah. When these bolts let go, they fracture. And the manifold's allowed to uh, back off a bit. Yeah, get off of the head and causes a leak, which uh, sounds like a tick. You mostly hear this noise when you start it up and it's cold. And as the vehicle warms up, the engine warms up and that metal expands, the tick goes away. All right, so we got the manifold in the vise now. We need to clean this gasket material that's stuck onto the manifold off in order to get an accurate reading with the straight edge. All right, so we got the straight edge sitting on here now, and you can see it's uh, teetering around quite a bit. If I let it just rest, it seems uh, it sort of bowed downwards on the outer edges, so outside portion of the manifold. Um, you could stick a feeler gauge under here to get a specification compared to manufacturer spec, see if it passes or not. I wouldn't personally reuse this without either sending it to the machine shop to be planed or put a new manifold on. 